All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful day here in the collapse of everything, where it is now. It is a gorgeous Monday afternoon, September 18th. 2023 as we uh, count down the final week of the summer of 2023 and uh, we're going to make today's Chronicle of the Collapse short and sweet. This is the, I believe, the fifth biggest story on planet Earth today. I was hoping the be bringing some reviews of all the climate marches to see uh, if they had managed to stop climate change, but I can't find any news that uh, that happened. So we're just going to read this short and sweet article from good old Reuters News. World leaders, whatever that word means, leaders, world leaders warn goals to fight hunger, poverty, and climate change in peril. Dun, 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 dun. Do you think so? World leaders, which I do not think includes uh, the planet saving Joe Biden. I think Joe Biden at least has the self-respect to sit out any meeting of a collection of world leaders. Uh, not sure Joe Biden was invited, but anyway, this is not about Joe Biden. This is about the other world leaders meeting at the United Nations on Monday, today, warned of the peril the world faces unless it acts with urgency, yes, to rescue a set of 2030 development goals and 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 it's very curious how they dropped out the word sustainable the sustainable development goals that we have heard about oh okay it shows up later but in the lead a set of 2030 development goals to wipe out hunger and extreme poverty and to battle climate change their declaration adopted by consensus at a summit before the annual UN General Assembly uh, embraces a 2015 to-do list of 17 sustainable development goals that also include water, energy, reducing inequality, and do not forget achieving gender equality. There you go. Okay, and this is the UN Declaration, which just came out of the oven. And I am here to uh, bring you the, the hot biscuits right out of the oven from the United Nations, quote, the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals is in peril. We are alarmed that the progress, which I should be said the regress, the progress on most, probably meaning uh, 16, of the Sustainable Development Goals is either moving much too slowly or has regressed below the 2015 baseline, close quote. So yeah, so it is the regression. The regression on the SDGs is coming along just fine. We do have some regress to report, at least on the sustainable development goals. And UN Doomer in Chief Antonio Guterres told the Summit of Leaders, minus Joe Biden, that only 15% of the targets are on track and that many are going in 
reverse. Okay, so there's 17. So does so 15 percent of 17. Uh, does that mean two? I guess that means two of the 17, according to our Doomer in Chief Antonio, uh, are moving in the right direction while many are going in reverse. I like how he, uh, how he frames all of this. Earlier this month, Guterres called on G20 leaders to ensure a stimulus of at least $500 billion per year towards meeting the goals. He called on countries to act now. The leaders, minus Joe Biden, are meeting in the shadow of geopolitical tensions, largely fueled by the war in Ukraine, as Russia and China vie with the United States and Europe to win over developing countries where achieving the sustainable development goals are key. Yes. This is our Doomer in chief himself. Instead of leaving no one behind, we risk leaving the sustainable development goals behind. The sustainable development goals need a global rescue plan. I do like our Doomer in chief. <clears throat> The UN said this month that there are now 745 million more moderately to severely hungry people in the world than in 2015, and the world is far off track in its non-existent efforts to meet the already pathetic United Nations goal to end hunger by 2030. So we're halfway there and we're halfway through the 15-year uh, timeline. 745 million more people are hungry uh, than they were when we started, you know, half, halfway ago. So at this rate, I guess there will be about one and a half billion more hungry people by 2030 than 2015. Uh, the cost of meeting global sustainable development goals uh, targets rose 25% to 176 trillion with a T, trillion dollars uh, during the year that ended in September 2022. And you better believe that number will go up again this year with performance on several measures reversing. Yep, yep, yep. So uh, once again, the uh, scorecard on the sustainable development goals gets an F minus, gets a, uh, well, it has been getting a zero. I, I would love to read the unadulterated horseshit data uh, that uh, they are claiming that two of the 17 uh, have made uh, any progress since 2015. Uh, I, I am quite sure they have come up with some, uh, you know, some creative smoke and mirrors uh, coming up with that bullshit. Sustainable development. You know, one of, one of the great oxymorons. Uh, Okay, well, I'm going to get Sancho Panza uh, to cover 
I don't know where my little dog is. My little dog has a nasty abscess on his stomach that we are dealing with. So Sancho Panza is not here. Sancho, where are you? Sancho, what are you doing? Little dog? Sancho? Oh well. Sancho Panza, I was going to bring Sancho Panza on to tell you everything you need to know about this year's meeting of leaders at the UN. Sancho, come here. Come on now. Sancho, come on. Would you come here, please? Sancho. Now the people are waiting. Okay, we have found a little dog, and Sancho Panza is going to wind up by telling you everything you need to know about this year's meeting of leaders at the UN General Assembly. Sancho Panza, would you please explain to the people everything they need to know about this year's meeting at the UN, about the Sustainable Development Goals. You know, I could not have said it better myself. You know, sometimes we just need to let the little dog come in here and put everything in perspective for us. The little Doomer dog. So, do you have any closing remarks, Sancho, about the UN sustainable development goals and any last words you want to share with your audience <coughs> there <coughs> there you go you heard it here anyway I've got to wrap up this nonsense. Uh, is, is there anybody on this planet disagreeing with Sancho Panza about everything you need to know about the United Nations saving the planet? Uh, but, uh, I have to go install a diesel heater in one of my tiny houses while I still can get out there and enjoy your own version of sustainable development goals in your life bye guys